guys today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to build an app on effectsapps.com so first we're going to start by going to effectsapps.com that is the name of the platform and if you don't already have an account you'll simply hit sign up so we're going to go ahead and make up an email here that we can use for later and it's very important that you keep your credentials together because you will need them later in order to check out your preview so I'm gonna go ahead and make up a password here and we're just gonna click here on agree X that out and sign up and there you go I would save my password if I were you we now have an account with effectsapps.com so what we're gonna do now is begin creating an app so the first thing we're going to do is come up with the name. So for today, I've worked with Tyreek Jackson for several years, and he has a barbershop. So the name of his barbershop is Sharper Image Barbershop. And you will put your name here, whatever the name of your company or business is. And then we'll just tap on Create. So the first page you're going to be introduced to is going to be the template page. So we're now in the back office and you can choose from these different templates. We have the red and co, the blue, the colors and the light gray. I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the blank template. Because we're going to build this app up from scratch. Once I've chosen my template, I can then change my layout. So you will hit change your layout. And here we have many different layouts to choose from. I'm going to work with layout. Layout number one has five buttons on the bottom and is very similar to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and most apps that people use on a day to day basis. Now, once I've selected that, I do want to check this box off where it says visible from all pages. What that means is when we add our first page, it will not automatically be visible. People will have to tap into that button in order to see it. I like to make that page visible from all pages. This way when people go into the app, it's very easy to see. Now I've checked that off and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And there you go, it has been saved. So what I'm also going to do is come down here. The next step, we're going to do is create our background for our app as you can see this comes with a templated your app background so in order to do that right here I can download a template so if you have Photoshop on your computer there's a PSD file and if you don't have Photoshop but you have some other type of editing software you can download a PNG file of what the background looks like I'm gonna do it through Photoshop so let's take a look at what that looks like so once I have clicked that it has downloaded the file here and it's opening up Photoshop on my computer and here goes the file as it's open so it has many different lines to tell you what's going to be safe in portrait mode in landscape mode for the iPhone for iPad okay that's what all these lines represent so all we need to do is simply drag and drop and I think in my computer I have several different images here that I can use I think I've used this one before and you can drag and drop an image on to Photoshop okay so now I have an image it's very simple you could simply Google uh, barber background image or whatever it is that you want your background to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize this so that it fits perfectly in here so I'm gonna stretch this out to the corner stretch this out to the other corner go in here there you go now I have a background for my app that's going to fit and my razors 
are kind of showing as you can see these lines here are showing me that it's going to be visible in the iPhone in port portrait mode so I'm going to go ahead and hit return and then I'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to save it on my desktop as background Now make sure I choose the format to be a PNG. We don't want it to be a PSD, another Photoshop file. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to get this, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and that is being saved, and it is done saving. Let's go back to effectsapps.com. Now I'm going to upload that image, which is downloaded from effectsapps.com, edited in Photoshop, and now is being uploaded right into the platform. So once your background is uploaded, you're just simply going to hit OK. So now we have our background for our app. So right below the background, it says use the home page image, which is this background, for all features. I like to check that off as well, because what that's going to do is no matter what feature we add, they're all going to have this background you can choose your country this is going to help so when you start listing prices in your app somewhere they will show up as United States currency so I'm going to put United States currency you can put euros for those of you who are, are overseas and then there's also some fonts that you can play with I'm not going to touch that right now so now that we have our template chosen our layout and our background let's go ahead and change right here this is our default icon we're gonna go ahead and make it our logo so we're gonna do that by going to application when we go to application it's going to allow us to upload our apps icon and this is very important because this is what it's going to look like on our desktop it's giving you an example over here and this is the templated one and all you have to do is simply click here on this purple button application icon I'm going to go ahead and upload that. So that'll take a few seconds to upload. Now, as you can see, I do have a lot of space around here. The great thing about effectsapps.com is that it allows you to edit an image right within the platform. Many other platforms will not allow you to do this. Okay. So effectsapps.com will allow you to edit your image and get it perfectly. And it's showing you an example of what it looks like here. So I'm just going to bring that in nice and tight, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what it's doing is now been replaced, and what it's showing me here is an example of what it's going to look like. Now in this area, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and here this is giving me um, when you have an Android phone, you have push notifications that show up different ways. Okay, So you can upload your icon here as well. And again, I'm going to edit it. And this is because the way it shows up on Android is a little different. And you can also change this color here, which is, as you can see here, the new push message. This is what a templated uh, Android would look like. It will come up with this little image here, and you can change that color. You see that color changing? And so his theme is kind of red, so I'm going to go ahead and go with red for that. And these are all for settings inside of an Android. I'm going to make sure that I click on Save. So now that we have our icon ready for Android users as well, this image here can also be changed. This image shows up in the status bar of an Android. It's showing me here what that looks like. So we can actually change that. So what you want to do is get a logo if it's your logo or an icon that is an image that sits on a transparent background so that you can be represented in an Android status bar when you send a notification let me show you what that looks like if I needed an image I would probably go to google.com and what I'm going to do is type in shears so shears icon PNG 
whatever it is you want the image to be and then make sure you add the word icon and PNG behind it and then we'll do a quick Google search for that and we'll tap on images in the search so what I'm looking for is one of these images as you can see that has a checkered background that's not going to work because it doesn't have a transparent background so what we're looking for is one of these that has no background so when I grab drag and drop it it's showing me that there is no background I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and save it to my computer and I'm gonna go back to effectsapps.com and in this area I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image that has a transparent background so here goes those scissors now it's gonna make it completely white because that's the way it's gonna show up but because it has a transparent background and now it looks like scissors when I hit OK it now shows me that hey when sharper image barbershop sends out a push notification to Android phones not only will you see this if it can't show you the logo it'll show you a set of shears in your status bar in the push notification it's showing you all the different examples that different Android phones would use so that's how you would replace this image as well and of course I'm gonna end by hitting save now that we've saved our icon our app is basically built we have an app with the layout that we've chosen with our logo added as our icon here we have a background now what we want to do is add some features so to learn how to add features to your app you should check out the next video called add features to your app